what's up guys? Well, today we are going to be flying some X-Class. We're going to take it up with some APC biplane. Make sure it all goes well, do a hover test, do some light cruising. Um, and then we might bump it up to some master air screws and uh, see what she's made of. Um, it's been raining the last three, four days, so there's a bunch of water on the field. So I'm going to try not to land in any water and mess some stuff up. So. That's what we got going. This is the quad. Pretty uh pretty beautiful looking X-Class, if I say so myself. We got the uh, APD um, 100 amps. This is just gonna be on 6S. Um, got the Brother Hobby T7 motors on here. Uh, there's a lot of vibration isolation with all the TPU that's on it. We've got uh, APD, PDB for the flight controller. We uh, we got a Helio Spring VTX. We've got a TBS Unified Race Two, and then for the receiver we have a Crossfire Nano, and then we've got TBS's new uh, extended Immortal T. They made this little mount, so I'm gonna twist it this way when we go to fly. Try to keep some of that carbon out of the uh, out of the plane. So yeah, that's what we got going on. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some props on here and uh, take it up for its first hover. All right, the moment of truth. I'm a little scared standing in front of this thing with it powered on, so I'm gonna get back over there and then we are going to FPV this guy. So <laughs> I'm really stoked. The sound this thing makes is amazing. All right, let's do it. Oh, my God. 
Man, that was awesome. The sound of it, like I said before, it's just, it's unlike anything else. Rates felt a little bit different on this big guy, but uh, it was a lot of fun. I am definitely looking forward to some more flights. Um, the, uh, the video wasn't great. OSD kept flickering out, so I'll work on that, but hey, it did great for the first flight. And being on stock tune uh, with no, with everything default, I'm, I'm happy with the Helio FU mode on this big guy. So more future tuning uh, to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this battery charged back up and uh, get her back up in the air with some master air screws. So stay tuned. Well, not only did I leave my USB cable at home, I also left my charger. So that's all she wrote for today. I gotta get to work. That's what happens when you rush. I'm very happy with how this, how this quad flew. The tuning on the Helio was great at default. Um, I'm anxious to look at the HD footage, but it felt great. If I could just figure out the video issue that I was having, um, I think this will be solid. I'm really anxious to try it with the master air screw props, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll do that another day. I gotta start graveyards for two days, so when I come off the graveyards, we will be doing a whole lot of testing with this on a few more off days. So, hey, thanks guys for watching. Uh, really appreciate it. Like I said, I'm really stoked. This is awesome. This is a frame that I've been working on with a group of guys for quite some time now and uh it's 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 been solid it's been a really solid frame for those guys and uh we're gonna see how it performs this year on the x-class circuit so really stoked so stay tuned if you guys are interested in one of these frames uh check them out on xcaliber3d.com we uh we're about to close the first pre-orders um but they're always open so hopefully we get some stock in soon so yeah like i said before really appreciate it guys stay tuned